Thank you for joining me today for a book talk from the Blue Grill Public Library. My name is Amanda Cawthon and I'm one of the Youth Services Librarians. I have a few books to show you today, starting with a picture book and ending up with a teen read. The first book that I'm going to show you today is Mother Bruce by Ryan T. Higgins. And I have to start off by saying that I am 100% in love with Bruce because if you look at that guy right there, how do you not fall in love with this grumpy, grumpy face? But Bruce, while grumpy, is a great cook and he loves to cook eggs. But one day, the eggs that he collects hatch and he becomes, becomes a case of mistaken identity when they think that he is their mama. So if you want to find out about how Bruce gets out of that situation, you'll have to check this out from the library. There's also several other books in the Bruce series, and I recommend that you read them all. The next book that I'm going to show you today is Zoe and Sassafras, Monsters and Molds by Asia Citro and Marion Lindsay. Um, this series is a great choice for young readers with curious scientific minds um, because when Zoe and her cat Sassafras get magical visitors to their back door, they uh, use science to solve their problems. So in this book, the monster Gorp has a very embarrassing problem and he needs help if he's going to be able to attend the annual monster ball. Uh, so this series has big text, it has great illustrations and short chapters, so this makes this a really good choice for those beginner chapter book readers. For older kids and preteens, I'm going to recommend Dactyl Hill Squad by Daniel Jose Older. This is the first book in a series. The third book, I believe, was just released at the beginning of June, and it should be available at the library very soon. And you're going to have to stay with me through this description because it's weird. Um, this book takes place in New York City, during the Civil War, but there are also dinosaurs roaming the city. So the lead character, Magdalene, lives in an orphan asylum, but it is burned down during the New York draft riots. Um, and she and the other orphans escape to Brooklyn. And that's where she has to use her unique ability to communicate with the dinosaurs to keep herself safe and also to rescue her fellow orphans from a local magistrate that has snatched them up. Um, the, the great thing about this book is that the author uses this weird mashed up alternate history to tell an exciting story, but also to address important issues about race that are still going on today and need to be talked about. The last book that I have to show you today is Carry On by Rainbow Rowell. Um, this is a book for teens and it's a little bit older, it came out in 2015, but it had a sequel that just came out last year called Wayward Son. And I'm gonna confuse you a little bit by telling you the backstory of this book. So Carry On started as a fan fiction story written by the main character in Rainbow Rowell's book, Fangirl. Um, it was inspired by Harry Potter and all of the other Chosen One stories and the fan fiction that people write about those. But the author, uh, Rowell, enjoyed her character so much, she just fell in love with them and she couldn't let them go. So she wrote a full length book about them, Carry On, which has now uh, become a series. Um, and in these books, she takes all of the chosen one tropes like a mentor, the very wise mentor and the sidekick best friend. And she combines those with fan fiction tropes like enemies that fall in love. And she creates this fun adventure. Um, so if you want to learn about the adventures of Simon Snow, I recommend you check this out. Find out if he stays enemies with Baz or if they become something more. 